you talk about football? Sure, if you don't mind, I don't know anything about it. Go ahead. I don't mind. <laughs> um, the, the pathway I have found right now to bring focusing to youth started with my son. Amen. That's good. <laughs> who's a football player. Yes. So my question has to do with why would these particular youth on his football team want focusing? Oh. And some of it I see because you wrote about the locker room and the coach says, leave your problems in the locker room and we know how. It seems like there needs to be more, uh -huh. more um, uh, hooks. And one thing that I'm stumbling over is these young men go out on the field intent on killing each other, doing harm to each other in order to win the game. When I watch them in the game and they are so uh, energized, they're warriors. And I'm stuck on focusing warrior youth Ah, yeah. So ah, yeah. anything you can say sure. <laughs> about focusing youth, football, and warriors will help okay. me take let, the next step. Let me first bring everybody up with us, uh, unless you've told them that before. Uh, a recent good book about sports tells you to leave your problems in the locker room. That is to say, if you can take your problems out of where you're carrying it in your body and leave them in your locker. When you go out on the field, whatever sport it is, you'll do a lot better. So this is known. What is not known is how to do that. Well, with focusing, we know how to do that. We might not be able to do it every time, but we know how to do it and we know how to recognize when we've done it and when we haven't done it. And that, I would say, is the selling point right now. Now, you, I totally agree with you, we need 12 other points, but you're going to get those from them. Okay, now the question about the warrior. There are many paths of development. And so I always know that, you know, when I'm talking to somebody who's done uh, crummy work all their life and has had no time to ponder over these things, uh, I know that they have developed a capacity and a resilience and, and a lot, they're not always, but half the time, uh, that I have not developed. That I will collapse much sooner if I have to spend four days doing something crummy than this person. There are different dimensions of development. And being a warrior is one of the dimensions of development. And I only know about it vaguely from the Eastern people who talk about it. I know very little about it. But I do know when I observe myself in comparison to such people that there's a lot of development I don't have because I went in the other direction. You see, when you spend all the time in this other way, you, you don't develop those things. So I wouldn't put down being a warrior. I wouldn't assume that we know what's wrong with that. I don't think we do. Um, the, their warrior spirits and focusing, I'm having trouble making that match. You're not going to. They are. They are. We're going to learn from them how that is. We really will. I'm not just dodging the question. I'm saying I really don't know. But we'll learn from them because they will, in the process of using it, they will use it their way. They won't be able to use it our way. They'll use it their way. And then when we ask them, some of them will be able to tell us. The trouble with that is so often these people don't develop an experiential way of talking. So then they just say any old thing. But it, one out of the bunch will be able to tell you. <laughs> it's such a good question, and it comes up a lot. That's why I'm in favor of teaching focusing to everybody and anybody. You know, soldiers, criminals, friends of yours, anybody. It'll, it'll 
gear in with everything else, and then we'll hear from them perhaps how, how that works. That's great.